Hi and welcome to Oxmods video number three. Hopefully since part two you've been back into your Mac configuration and been tuning your motors. I've managed to get mine to an average of asking for 50 mil. I'm, I'm getting 49.99 and 50.01. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I'm going to need it any better than that. So in this video we're going to concentrate on our limit switches our homing and our soft limits. With the limit switches we're going to have a minus limit on the X and Y axis and on the Z axis we're going to have a plus limit so it homes away from our table. Now I've set up three mechanical switches on the CNC machine on the OX and these are make you touch them to make contact and they, these are physically called um, active low switches they'll activate when you pull the signal down to ground so the first thing we're going to do is go into our configuration of the plugins and go to our motion controller config inputs and outputs now we're using pins 12 13 and 15 and x-axis is going to be first up so we're going to use number 12 we know it's an active low switch because it's got the pull to ground to work you will not find an x minus in your pull down list of your choices on here one thing we do know is our x-axis is motor zero so we need to be choosing our motor zero minus and give it a name so we know what it is which is our X minus limit switch so all we need to do is click apply now and click OK click OK once again now we're going to the Mac configuration go into our input signals and we need to find motor 0 minus again in here so we've got motor 0 minus there which is going to be coming, the signal is going to be coming from the motion controller and it's motor zero. So we'll click apply on there and we'll click OK. Now to test if this is working, if we go to our machine diagnostics and then we go across to the machine and click the button, we should find this X limit lighting up. Right, so we'll click on the machine now on our button and as you can see nothing is lighting up this is one of them errors that I was on about before when it loses communication when you come out of the configuration screens I'm going to close this down and that sounds lovely open Mac 4 back up that incidentally is one of my NEMA 23's it does that when Mac 4 is not running so on my to-do list is is a relay for the 24 volts that will only allow power going to the motors when Mac is running right we've started up again now I'll go and try the limit switch again and there we are we're working so if you come into that situation just close Mac 4 down and then open it back up again before you go and start checking all your configuration settings and wiring just that quick bit there will sort it out for you right, so that's our X limit working we'll do exactly the same for our Y axis which is down here on pin 13 it's the same as the last motor so that's going to be active low we're using motor number one minus for our y-axis uh, just give it a name so you know what it is minus y limit we'll click apply come out of the configuration again and we'll go into Mac configuration and to our input signals to motor 1 minus again motion controller and this is going to be motor number one click apply and OK 
Once again, we'll go and try the limit switch on the machine. And we're not working again. So again, shut down. I really must do something with that motor. Well, open up again. Go oh, back to our machine diagnostics, try our switch and we're working. So we've now got the Y working and we've got the X working. Right, on to the Z. Now the Z is a little bit different because we want to home that Z in the plus direction away from the bed of our machine. So we'll go into our configuration. Once again, go to our inputs and outputs. We're using pin 15, so we'll activate it. It's the same switch, but we're using motor number two, but this time we want to use the plus on it. We want to take it away from the bed. So it's motor two plus. So that's going to be our Z limit. We'll click apply on there. Back into our Mac configuration input signals again we'll find the motor but we'll have the plus this time motor number two coming from the motion controller and we're using motor two plus click apply and then click ok same again back on the machine just check your switch once again she's done it this does get a pain when you're doing this, but once it's done, this doesn't happen anymore. Right. Right then, back into our machine diagnostics. Check your switch. And that's it, the Z is now working. So that's all, all three limit switches all, all set up. There's a bit of a bonus now because I'm using them mechanical switches where they are. They're also my homing switches, so we can twin them up now. If you go into your Mac configuration, inputs and outputs, you've also got motor home, which is what we're going to use. So our motor zero home is going to be exactly the same, which is going to be our motion controller using motor zero. Motor one motion controller is our motor one and motor two motion controller number two so we'll click apply and OK now if you used to hit the switches you'll find they're twinned up with the Y limits Z limits and X limits so that's great we've got our homing switches set up as well but it's not it for the homing. There's a little bit more we need to do for the homing within the plug-in configuration. Right, from the Mac plugins configuration, go into the motion controller. We're going to go to our homing tab on this one. We set up our motors straightforward. Motor zero is motor zero. Motor one is motor one and motor two is mo motor two. Now our velocities, the way it works works it is how how quick it moves towards that switch. This is in units per minute, and the back off is how fast it backs off from that switch until it finds that the switch isn't active anymore. But take note, this is in seconds, units per seconds instead of units per minute. I had a little bit of a plane about with it, and these are just the figures that I've came up with, made it comfortable. If your backup velocity is too low, it takes that long to come off. It just seems to lock out on the motion controller. But these are the numbers that I've ended up with. I've got an approach velocity of 1,000. And I've got a back off of 100, which is running pretty fine for me. Oops, that's too fast. <laughs> so... 1100 on your motors click apply and OK and that's all your homing setup 
for the plugin. So we'll go to our machine diagnostics and we'll do a reference X. Right, with our reference X, we'll click the reference. We should now own the X and it should back off slightly. Lovely. And the same for our Y homing. Click the switch and back off. And the same for our Z axis. Right, so that's all our homing switches working. We disable this, we'll, we'll go back into Mac configuration and we're going to go to the homing and soft limits tab here. We've got our X, Y and Z set up here. Now you don't need to change any of the home speeds at all. This is just the order. At the moment it's going to home the Z, it's going to home the Y, then it's going to home the egg, 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 <laughs> X. To make this a little bit faster, Stick your X on too as well, so it'll home the Y and X both at the same time. Click apply and OK. We'll just right, we'll just stick our carriages away from their home limits. Drop the Z down. We go back to the program run now and we reference all home. It should do the Z by itself and then do the X and the Y both at the same time. That's it, we've now got a home decision. Right, for the soft limits, if you enable your table and you jog everything to the extremities, as far as they'll go, as far as you dare take them. That's that one. I think it's about as far as I'm going to take them. Right, if you take down the numbers you've got here for your for your X, Y and your Z, if you go in if you disable first, if you go into the configure and go into your Mac configuration, home in and soft limits, we're gonna put a soft limit on our Z, Y and X. So we'll enable them and put down the numbers we've got. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my X. That's what we've got underneath here. You can't see it. Typical. I'm going to use um, 300 for my X and I'm going to drop it down to 450 for that. And if I remember rightly, that was on about 60. So, but I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this 50. I don't need it to go too far down. Depending on the size of the mill bit you got in there, we'll change this anyway. So that's all I need on there. I'm going to click apply now click OK. I'm going to bring everything back to zero. Now then, to enable your soft limits, you need to go and press soft limits here. You must have that enabled, otherwise it won't work. If I went to jog my X across now, it should be smashing in the side, but with the soft limits, it stops it before it. The same as the Y, the Y stop it exactly. No limit switch there, it's just using the software. That's it, so there's no more crashing into the back when you're jogging about. Well, that's it for part three. We have all our limit switches all working. It's homing and we've got our soft limits. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in part four when we actually start making some of the mods. That's why it's called Ops Mods. But for some of the mods, I needed the machine working. So once again, thank you very much. If you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll see you in part four. Thank you.